11 months ago, the UUA board, on behalf of its member congregations, entered into a new leadership relationship that was intended to model what it means to have a beautiful way to work together and provide a pastoral presence as a way to help lead our faith. We heartily approved co-moderators of the board of the Unitarian Universalist Association with the goal of shared leadership and collaboration. Having seen the benefits since then, in accordance with our bylaws and in the true spirit of covenant, we ask this General Assembly to bless Mr. Bob Grieve and Elandria Williams as they continue their journey in leading us to lead and lift up this faith that we love. Please join us in these words adapted from Gina Whitaker. The co-moderators and the search committee will read the words in bold together and the assembly will read the words in italics. We gather here this week, a community of leaders within a larger community of faith. Our work before us, we are called to deliver the goods with commitment, reason, and foresight. Remembering that we are a religious community, we strive to set our goals, develop our policies, and express our opinions with love at the top of all agenda items. Remembering we hold open the door to welcome the multitudes who may yet enter, we set the pace, teach by example, and encourage growth, sustaining a spirit of abundance and a connection to the greater good. Remembering that we hold the lamp to illumine others' visions, we pledge our service, listening to each other and our stakeholders and pool our individual gifts with transformation as our overreaching goal. And together, serving together, we are building Unitarian Universalism. We are bonding in unity and love. We are blessing one other. In the spirit of citation, I offer that these are the words of the Reverend Sophia Betancourt from our laying on of hands last year when we installed our president, the Reverend Susan Frederick Gray. In our tradition, the authority of leaders, of ministers, lay leaders, and presidents or co-moderators is granted by the people, by the people we hold in community. The call to serve may originate within a person or within whatever holy conversation has grounded their conviction. But in our polity, that call must be recognized and can only be ratified by the congregation, by the people. Ours is an embodied faith through which the sacred finds voice in our own communication and moves in the world through actions. The practice of laying on of hands and ordinations and installations and circles of healing and blessing reminds us of the sources and contexts of our power. Leaders do not serve alone, and ours is always a partnered ministry. I invite you to come forward, Barb and Alandria. A little bit more to the center, there we go. We would not simply install you in your office, but we wish to bless you on this journey. We invite you to be still, to close your eyes, and be held in trust by our physical presence here, the literal touch of our hands. You are companioned most closely now and will be in the days to come by your family. I ask that the families of Barb and Alandria come forward now. 
Join us and gather here and lightly lay your hands upon Barb and Alandria. We hold in our hearts others whom you love, not able to be present with you this afternoon, yet present in your spirit. Into this circle we draw in the still others present only in beloved community. Allow those names to come to your mind now. Breathe deeply. Remember who you are. Remember where you come from. Remember where you live, where your heart is most at home. Remember what you have come here to do and whose work you are doing. You are companion in this call by a long line of worthy predecessors. We invoke the spirit of all moderators that have come before you and invite them into this circle now. You are companioned by strong leaders of our association, called to serve and elected by our people, just as you have been. You will be partnered by comrades who will challenge and support you, who will draw your strength forward and look to draw out what is best in them. I now invite the members of the UUA Board of Trustees to come forward and lightly place your hands on the families of Barb and Alandria. You are companioned also by your beloved colleagues in shared ministry. I ask religious professionals here on stage or out here in the general session hall now to rise in body or in spirit and extend a hand forward. I ask ministers, seminarians, musicians, and administrators in the congregation to rise in body or in spirit and extend a hand forward. I invite our UUA staff to rise in body or in spirit and extend a hand forward. You are companioned by all of these people. And most importantly, you are companioned in this work by our people, the countless lay leaders who serve their congregations and our movement. There is no one else no ecclesiastical body, no bishop who can recognize and authorize this naming of you as our co-moderators. The very hands and hearts that embody our faith beyond this place in every congregation, large and small, mid-size and in between, in worship, in peacemaking and in justice seeking, in institutional commitment, in the day-to-day -day celebration of life, the very hands that hold our faith are laid upon you now. I ask those on stage to come forward and lay your hands. And I invite those in the congregational body now to rise in body or in spirit and extend a hand forward. It is from their trust and their vision that your authority derives. You are called specifically by this people, called out and chosen to lead and to listen, to lean on them, on us, for wisdom, clarity, and courage. Open your eyes, look around, at all the people whose love is beaming right out at you, who grant you this sacred trust, this spiritual authority that only they have the right to grant.
Let us pray. Barb and Alandria, we grant you sacred authority. Your office is a holy office. We remind you never to, to forget who you are or whose you are, what you have come here to do and why you must do it. Barb and Alandria, the days have already been long, sometimes hard and occasionally thankless. We call to mind gratitude, community, the youth caucus from which you have both served. We know that this is a multi-generational trust and that you two are in a long line, a long and unceasing line of holy leaders. We want you to know we are here when you need us. We want you to know we need you. We want you to know yours is sacred work and we entrust all of this to you. In the name of all that is holy and beyond all naming, that space that connects each and every one of us to all of us and beyond throughout all space and all time, we say together, blessed be. Blessed be. Amen. Amen. And Ashe. Ashe. Thank you for your service.